Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'll be doing a setup of a advanced uh, React Native uh, app using React Navigation. Um, I've been searching around on YouTube and I couldn't find a video where it shows you how to set up um, tab navigation together with um, modals, full screen modals that uses the new iOS uh, modal uh, animation, as well as having a drawer and also having a stack navigator. So basically all the navigators together in one project. I haven't been able to found, find this, so this is what we will do today. And I'm gonna use my package, um, my little um, um, React Native uh, modern starter package here to get started. So I'm just gonna copy this SSH link here and jump back into iTerm and then just clone that one down. And, uh, oh, try again. Yes, and I made a new folder, so I'm just gonna add the dot at the end here. And uh, yeah, this library is uh, public available, so if you guys want to code along, you can uh, clone it down as well. All right. Next step is to open up the project here. And um, I'm gonna start off by um, calling yarn just to install the dependencies. And after doing yarn, I will do a pod install and then launch my simulator. And I'll see you back here in a moment when it's done doing that. All right, so if you see this screen to the right, you are done compiling stuff and ready to do things. So, um, cool. So let's actually go to the source folder and jump right into the routing folder here, into the navigation. And uh, we can hide that again. So in here, we have our very basic navigation that, um, is very likely what we need when we make an app. But uh, in our case, we want to go with a more advanced setup. So we're gonna clear some things up in here. And I'm just gonna start off by removing these screens. And uh, I also want to remove um, the stuff inside this return because I want to be doing uh, some very specific uh, options for this setup okay and uh, you can see I'm getting some yellow lines here because it's been complaining that it's self-closing so I'm, I'm just gonna before moving on I'm just gonna create a dummy screen here and we're gonna be using this one just in a moment so it makes sense and I'm just gonna call it the modal and in here we just render a view and inside this view we have some text and in this text it says Model. Okay, very simple. And I'm just gonna add it as a screen here. And I'm just gonna call it modal. And I'm gonna point at my modal component here. Yes, all right, looks good. So you can see I have a bunch of unused imports here. I'm just gonna clean it up real quick so we don't have too much unused stuff. All right, screen options, don't need that one either for now. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So uh, let me see, okay, it's complaining because the types are not set up correctly, but uh, yeah, we won't bother too much with that. So just ignore all these uh, red lines for now. Alrighty, so um, how are we gonna go on about this advanced setup where we need both drawer and tab navigator? We want modal and everything. So how do we how are we gonna do this? So uh, basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a stack navigator. 
gonna have stack navigator in the root so underneath our container we're gonna have a stack navigator and we are gonna set this stack navigator to modal mode so mode equals modal and we're also gonna set the header mode to none and the reason that we do this is because we want to have a modal basically in the um, root stack navigator so we can launch a modal from any screen that should could be nested in this hierarchy and uh, to get the very uh, cool iOS animation um, we need to actually define it in um, uh, the root if possible okay this is the preferred approach anyway from the documentation so we're going to do that and now i'm going to show you how we're going to set up the screen options here in order to get it working so we can actually delete this header name as well we don't need it so in our return statement we are going to first of all set gesture enabled to true so we can actually close that modal with gestures and then we're going to set the card overlay enabled to true and also yeah here we can actually pass in a preset from also from the react navigation stack package here so if you import that one we can access modal presentation ios Okay, these options sh should be um, the very basic that we need to launch this model. And um, if you look on the right here, you can see it says model here in the top left. And uh, the reason for that being here is because we have set the model, a mode to model here. So uh, it's trying to fill up the whole screen. So it's actually going a little out of bounds here. But um, we're not going to worry too much about that right now. Now I'm just going to create a quick dummy screen here. And that is to showcase that the model is working. So let's create one called home. And here we're just going to have view. And in that view we're going to have button. And that button is just going to say modal. And we're going to have an odd press here which will navigate to that modal screen. So we expose navigation and we on navigation we call navigate and we want to go to modal. Okay. So we can change the test to change the text to activate modal here. Okay. And uh, just to test it we also need to up here uh, add that screen so name let's call it home component it's gonna be home okay and now we can set the initial route to home now we might have to actually reload the app yes all right so we have our button up here and uh, i can actually click it because as you can see, the mode is still set to modal here, so everything is still being rendered a little bit outside the app. So just for test purposes, I'm just going to add some inline styling here, adding top 50, so I can actually click the button. So when I click the button, you can see I'm getting this very nice modal here that's jumping on top of everything. And that seems to be working pretty well, and I can dismiss it just by um dragging it down and the animation is is very smooth as you can see it's working pretty well okay that's that was just a quick test to see if our global scope uh, modal component is working here so that's working great now 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 we need to move on to some other stuff because we also want to have a drawer and we also want to have tab navigation so in our root stack navigator here instead of referencing this home screen which doesn't make too much sense uh, we actually do want to point at the drawer stack 
let's create that one first. So uh, const drawer, let's just call it drawer uh, navigator. And here it's gonna be uh, create drawer navigator, I believe. And we need to import that one up here. So import from React Navigation Drawer. Create Drawer Navigator. Okay, cool. So that's our Drawer Navigator. Now we can add a Drawer Stack here. So let's just call it Drawer Stack. And in here, we're just going to return a Drawer Navigator dot Navigator. And uh, in here, we need to define a screen. And uh, it's not just a screen, it's gonna be another stack. Okay, so I'm gonna explain why in a sec. So here we want to have draw navigator.screen. The name could be main stack. And here we need to pass in the component. So what is the component here? So since we want to have a header, we need to have, or we can nest a stack navigator uh, inside our drawer navigator. So remember up here, we had a, another stack navigator here. This one is, was in the root. But remember, this one was set to modal mode, so we didn't actually generate a header here. We just have that modal behavior. So in order to get the header and get a regular stack navigator, we need to def nest one here, uh, add a new one. So I'm going to do that down here. And I'm just going to call this one for, yeah, I'm just going to call it stack navigator. And oops, is she gonna be equal to create stack navigator? And uh, now I can define a screen here, and that's gonna just gonna call it uh, main stack. So stack navigator dot navigator, and uh, as with many things in React navigation. We have a navigator and underneath the navigator we have some screens so now once again we need to define our screens here and in here we could actually just add a bunch of screens that would be okay but we also want tab navigation so we need to do another nest another nest so let me just need this home here okay so we need to nest again and uh, in this project, I have already tab, some tab navigation defined here that I can use. But uh, yeah, in fact, I'm, I'm just gonna create it from scratch since it's so simple. So um, in here, we're gonna have stack navigator screen and that's gonna, we're just gonna call it, it's gonna just gonna be home. And uh, the component will be whatever we are gonna define in just a moment here. So let me just define that. So let's just call this next stack for tab navigator and that's gonna be create bottom tab navigator. Okay. And now once again, as before, we're gonna create a tab stack. And this is gonna return a tab navigator dot navigator. And once again, we're gonna add some screens. And now we're actually gonna reference some screens. So we're not just gonna create another stack, another stack. Now we're gonna actually gonna add some screens here. So dot screen, um, and this screen is gonna be name. Let's call it tab home, I'm not sure. And then the component is just gonna be 
the home component here. So if you haven't seen home, it's just this very simple screen that says React Native Modern Template saves a lot of time. This one is built in to the template here. So it's just a regular React component, okay? So let's just reference that one. And just to have more than one screen, let's reference another one. So that could be tab profile. And here we can put the profile screen. Save that. Okay, now I believe we are looking pretty good here. So now let's uh, add in our different components here. So in our main stack, we want to reference the tab stack. And inside our draw stack, we want to reference our main stack. And up here, where we once referenced home, we are going to reference our draw stack down here. And then potentially change the name here because home, we use it down here. So let's just call it door, maybe. All right, awesome. Awesome, awesome. So let's see what do we have over here. We have our two tabs and they're working. They're working pretty well. We have our head up here. So we're inside um, this stack navigator that's created, creating this header, that's cool. Now, if we try to drag from the left, we do have a drawer here, just with one menu point so far. We can customize this however we like. So this is how it looks right now. And uh, inside this home profile, oh sorry, this home screen, we have a button that navigates to modal. So if you click here, we are getting this model on top of everything. So that's also working. And if I were to create this button inside profile, remember to import that one and then reference navigation, then that should also work just fine because we have our model in our root, uh, root stack. So every screen can reference this model. So yeah, that's working. That's working brilliantly. Okay, now uh, that's actually all. So uh, if you're creating a more complicated app and you need to have a drawer and you need to have tab navigation, you need to have modals, then this setup might be the setup you're looking for. Okay, hope you guys learned something and I'll see you in the next one.